okay here we go we are back with the problem so the another video uh, you could saw how the engine rpms is dropped up and down yeah that's what it's doing so what we're gonna do we're gonna do a pretty simple test we're gonna replace the uh, pressure control valve on the high pressure rail on the common rail rail which one is right down there and we're gonna replace it with this one with the used one as you can see how the RPM is dropping up and down for that job actually you need only spanners like this it's a Torx <clears throat> I know which one it is number but anyway you need the torque then you need yeah beside it's a A class Mercedes 2004 year made it's a 1.7 TDI engine with the 70 I guess kilowatts on it <coughs> 1.7 diesel engine so it's pretty simple you just get this little thing off just like that on the top uh, to make it a lot easy you have to unplug this little thing off that's all because it uh, makes you a little bit more space to do the job properly and that's what you can do so as you can see we are getting a little closer so then you're gonna unplug this little thing vacuum pipe so vacuum pipe goes off rip it off then you can unplug the plug from the pressure regulating valve on the rail like that and after that you can use Torx to just get these uh, little two bolts off it's a pretty simple job just get them off one there and one there just two of them I just would like to remind you then for my problem there was no faults on the screen on the dash there was no check engine light in the diagnostics I didn't see any fault codes as well uh, then this valve as you can see on this valve probably we can figure out the code what it is it's a A611 0780149 Mercedes Benz and we're gonna replace this one with the well which one got the same code is that is pretty important to do that um, yeah only thing what you can do with the diagnostics you can see then this valve is regulating uh, pressure on the rail which one is jumping from 20 to 30 megapascals or from 200 to 300 bars so it drops up and down and that's why you're getting the revs going up and down as well and the engine is all the time revving by itself so let's exchange this one so here we go the comparing side by side as you can see there's the same code I've got on only the it's marked because it's basically from the scrapyard from the uh, yeah from the scrap yard from another car so we just get this one in now okay here we go engine runs pretty smooth it don't have any wraps so that's pretty cool All right, so that's what we've done. We exchanged that valve. So that's pretty simple. Nice. So thanks for watching. I hope you will solve your problem as well. And see you next time.
Bye.